Ideally, for us to go far with agriculture, we should cut those stereotypes. A farmer having only one acre of land and still goes ahead and plants maize, you wouldn't expect that farmer to be. I did my BCM hoping that uh, I would do pharmacy. My name is Tabu Ismail. Currently, I am the president of Nature Uganda, Gulu University branch. And also, I served in the 22nd Guild Government of Gulu University as the GRC, representing the Faculty of Agriculture and Environment, and also as a member of the Guild Disciplinary Committee. Thank you so much. Wow, you man. It looks like you're a man of very many hats. How do you manage to maneuver all those things and also focus with uh, education at university? Because, man, these things are not easy. University is not easy. How do you manage to handle all that and juggle around? Mm, see, when, for example, when you join the guild leadership, one of the first things they will do to you is to, uh, to hold what we call inductions in the guild. Inductions, I remember vividly, one of the topics the university secretary likes to talk about so much is coping up, coping with extra responsibilities as a leader. As a leader, you must know that you have a lot of things on your table. And therefore, you need to plan how, for example, in the university of how the academic year will run, you need to set your plans clearly so that you achieve them. I remember one time the acting dean by then, who was Mr. Opio Charles, said leaders are naturally intelligent. Uh, dodging, dodging guild sittings should not be an excuse. No, uh, attending lectures should not be an excuse of dodging guild sittings because he believed in his wisdom that leaders are intelligent naturally. So ideally when you go into leadership, you would have actually prepared your mind, you would have prepared yourself emotionally, psychologically, physically, mentally. I think all those will come still to one thing. Thank you. Wow. You are indeed a politician. I think one day we shall see you as the Minister of Agriculture and Animal Industry and Fisheries someday. I hope so. God willing. How do you say it in 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 Inshallah. 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 He will be the next minister of agriculture in Uganda. Tiko. Yes. This show we had gone a bit away, but this show is about inspiring the youths and bringing them closer to agriculture. What inspired you to join agriculture in in a nutshell? Agriculture. Mm, to to start way back when I was in O level. I joined Senior One in 2015 at St. Joseph's College, Laibi. Wait, you're this young? Yeah. But you look a giant. You <laughs> it's, it is because uh, you prepared yourself and you know exactly where you want to be, so you have to organize yourself. And that's why maybe you'll have to even overcome insurmountable hot odds and become who you are. It starts with determination. Fair enough, fair enough. Tiko, you're dressed like this. I, I'm sorry to say, but are you really a farmer, the way you're dressed? Because the picture I have of a farmer, uh, you'll have to excuse me, the picture I have of a farmer, I don't think I see a farmer being dressed like this. Tiko, are you really a farmer? Yes, I'm a very serious farmer. See, one thing why agriculture in Africa is not growing is the stereotypes and the misconceptions people have about agriculture. People always want to see agriculture and they actually uh, attach agriculture to very poor old people who are very dirty, which is not the case. Ideally, for us to go far with agriculture, we should cut those stereotypes. And I'm not so sure that you have seen Mr. President of the Republic of Uganda very dirty and in, in the garden. But he's one of the biggest farmers in Uganda and in Africa at large. So if we cut those stereotypes, then agriculture will go very far. Because ideally we should make agriculture very, someone said, very sexy and very attractive. So that even the youth out, out there can say, oh, if, if, for example, someone sees me, Tiko, and says, oh, wow, Tiko is very smart, he's putting on a coat. And I tell them, yeah, I'm a farmer. 
very many of them will get inspired and they and they will say oh Dig is putting on a suit but he tells us that he's a farmer so i think let's join agriculture let's go and do farming then that's one of the ways we shall bring in this youth to agriculture but then speaking speaking of that lady who said making agriculture sexy again hmm. i believe if you know i'm the one who sees a magazine and I see such a beautiful lady on top of that magazine. Mm. I will be attracted because the magazines we used to see of white people, uh, musicians and what, mm. it's not because even we knew them, but how sexy they looked, how beautiful they looked. Not to be like I'm um, a sexist or something like that, but we need to portray agriculture as something <laughs> smart, something uh, anyone else can do, not uh, being dirty. Because there's a lot that happens uh, in the agricultural sector. It's not all about you holding the hoe and what are some of the opportunities that are there in the in the agriculture sector because most people when you talk about ah, i'm going to do agriculture at university they'd be like you man you're going to be a farmer but what has been your experience like when you joined university is it the same picture you had before doing the course or you found something different and if you found something different what was that thing that was different uh, with the agriculture course Yes, uh, thank you so much, my dear moderator. Like I had initially said before, uh, when I joined Laibi, allow me to build my point from there. When I joined Laibi in senior one, uh, agriculture was an optional subject. So it means ideally when you reach senior theory, you had the chance and the opportunity to leave agriculture and continue with some other subjects. And that time, sincerely, I, I didn't like the subject agriculture. Uh, so I left it. I, I didn't continue with it. Even in, in A level, I did BCA. I did biology, chemistry, and math. Wait! You did biology? Chemistry and math. Wow. Imagine someone doing biology, chemistry, and math, and they are doing agriculture. H how did it come about that you... I'm sorry to interrupt you. Yeah, I want this to be a back and forth thing. Mm. But you doing biology, chemistry, and, and, and mathematics, mm. and then you end up, did you want to really do agriculture or, because most of the people I've seen, they would say they wanted to do medicine, but they ended up being given agriculture at, at, uni, at uni. Are you that, or it was from the get-go you wanted to do agriculture? Mm, when, I was, when I was in A level doing biology, chemistry, and math, I didn't even think that someone like me could do agriculture in the university. I did my BCM hoping that uh, I would do pharmacy. I loved chemistry so much and people used to tell us that if you do well in chemistry, you would end up becoming a pharmacist. Mm. So when I was filling in my job forms, I think pharmacy was number one. Pharmacy, medical courses only. Then uh, coming to the diploma, still medical courses only. Then, ideally, uh, paper 2 math and paper 2 biology could not allow me to pursue pharmacy in the they university. <laughs> <laughs> so then, uh, I was still lucky enough to be offered a, a government course at Gulu, Gulu Schools of Health Sciences where they gave me a, 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 a diploma in environmental health sciences. Mm. But then, uh, like, in Proverbs 16.9 says, The heart of man plans his way, but God establishes his steps. So I was lucky enough to work with someone by then who was working with Afsi. Afsi, and he was the regional manager of Western Uganda by the names of Jimmy Oweka. So Jimmy Oweka, when he heard that I was offered some, some, di some diploma course on government at Gulu Soko, Jimmy sat me down and said, No, Tiko. I did agree business from Makerere University. I know what it means. So he lectured me for very many hours. He used to invite his friends to come and talk to me, even including people who had done diploma courses in, in the medical field. So he told me to apply to Gould University on private for Bachelor's of Science in Agriculture. So I said, yeah, let me first try this shot. So I, I applied, but then even when I was applying, Agriculture was number four among my choices. Still, I thought I would do a medical course, so I put medicine to be number one. A Greek number four. But God works in a certain way. God used these lecturers because public health was number two, and my weight was enough for me to do public health. But then still they came down and gave me agriculture. 
because they knew what it would mean for someone like me to do agriculture. I came in for orientations. They inspired me a lot. And as I speak nowadays, I inspire very many people to come and do agriculture. And, and that's, that's one of the reasons why I wanted you to be on the show and, and inspire the next people mm. uh, about agriculture. Mm. 